Hey everybody, how are you doing? Hey, I am here and I'm excited to start a new series where I am starting this business. Uh, it can be kind of interesting when you are a business owner and you're starting out and uh, you're trying to get somewhere. So, do you own a business right now? Are you thinking about owning a business? And maybe there's some blocks or something. This will be my third business. Uh, my first business was actually an aquarium cleaning business uh, back when I was in college. It was nice. It's like it didn't make a whole bunch of money per year. I think I made like five thousand dollars per year. But for a college student, it's like uh, you know that's a lot of pizza and beverages. Um, my second business, my uh, most recently, uh, I was a photographer for twenty years, and then I did it as a business full time for uh, ten years, and that really let me learn a lot about sales marketing. Uh, working on social media, websites, gear that you need, gear that you don't need, uh, I, I, coaching, and er everything kind of there. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have this series where it's like, let's build our business together. I'm going to be building this business from a ground up. For me, it's a coaching business. I have been called, and it's like, uh, for about the last eight years, I've kind of been called as a teacher. And it was funny because it was kind of confusing in a do I become a public school teacher or a private school teacher? Uh, but nothing ever panned out. And um, recently, I've had where it was, you know, that moment, right, where you're like, oh, it's like I can actually, I have a lot of business uh, acumen, um, and there's a lot that I can offer you as, uh, as just a guide as I do this. And if I'm building a business from the start, and I already know how to build a business, then hey, let me reach out to my tribe and go, let's do this together if you're already in business maybe there are some steps that you missed i had a coach a tennis coach in high school and he was always come back to the fundamentals come back to fundamentals so there are some things that it's like i want to go through and talk with you about of going hey what are the things that we can do to um, modify and change your business that will help you uh, along the way and you'll see what i'm doing i'll try to be as transparent as i can because i'm uh, really really just at the beginnings of this I have the nils, uh, the skills knowledge and ability to be a business coach and I feel perfectly fine with that um, and I have uh, the, the skills knowledge ability to have a business I know how to do web design I know how to do marketing I know how to do Facebook um, all these things but I'm like okay as I do this let me share it with you so uh, to not go on too far so let's first start about what is the best part about being a business owner this has been since 2020 has been such an amazing time for private business growth uh, we have experienced the great resignation where people are like screw you corporations when i needed you uh because this pandemic happened it's like first thing you thought of is your bottom line and i am the frick out of here and it's like uh and not the frick out of here and that you wanted to leave they said oh you know i gotta make my money so i'm gonna kick you out and then when they want you back now, you're like, uh, okay, I kind of remember, you know, you kind of broke up with us. You, now you want me back? No, screw you, right? So I want to make sure that it's like for us entrepreneurs that are out there that are driven and we want something different than, you know, this nine to five, give me as little money as you possibly can type jobs. I want you to do what you're passionate about. And that's what I've did and my photography and that's what I'm doing now is wanting to be a coach so as I said corporations want us back and it's like the hard part is with inflation and all the things that government processes will do to get you back is tricky because it's like hey if I can you know if inflation rises you get to a point where it's like as a business owner you get scared that you're not gonna make that monthly amount and you gotta go oh, I gotta go find a job you know as a traditional day job right Maybe something will land in your lap that is aligned with your passion, and that's fantastic. That's always, you know, that, that is a great thing. But if it's not, and you are somebody who's like, I need my own thing because if I'm not at home, I get to spend time with my family. I get to do things that I want to. I can work on my own schedule. I mean, there's always the joke of when you own your own business, You the best part is you get to choose your own 80 hours. And that's possible too, but maybe we can make that a little bit better as well. So in this series, I'm going to cover 10 things, and it's like, I'm going to look over at my um, so we're going to build a business together. That's my plan. It's going, okay, we're going to stop. We're going to go through each phase, uh, and do this together. The first thing we're going to do is, um, I call it the chair and it's this chair right here. I'll come back to it in a minute. 
And the second is get a coach. I hate to admit how much money I wasted as uh, becoming a photographer because I just didn't settle down and get a coach. I was, when I, when I was first working on getting into my business, I had a day job and it paid really well. Uh, I came from being an enterprise architect, so process engineering and all that kind of stuff. The hard part is, if I had the money, it's like I would just buy a lot of training videos, I'd buy a lot of gear, and I probably spent well, about $30,000 $30, in coaching. And it was, but it wasn't private coaching. It was training here and training there, and a couple of pseudo uh, private coaching, but not actual private coaching. So the money that I could have saved on gear, the money that I could have saved on training just to have somebody going, hey Rob, this is what you need to be doing, uh, would have been significant. I would have profited so much more. Uh, we're going to retro build your client and your product and your pricing. It's like, uh, that's going to be very important. Testing. We're going to test to know. And we're going to find where test to know what you're supposed to be doing. Because even in where I am right now, I am kind of in the testing to know, and we'll get into more detail about that. But then we are going to test to be. There is a very powerful meditative practice of being. It's when you stop and you listen to who you are. You listen to your inner self to go, am I being this person that I'm trying to be? Am I, am I being also in the moment? Like if you are with your kids and you're on your phone, I mean, I hate to, hate to drag you down, but if you're on your phone and your kid is sitting there uh, across from you and they want your attention and you're on your phone, you're not being a parent, you're being a person looking through Facebook or whatever, you know, or whatever you're looking at. Stopping and being is so powerful. And if you stop and be what you want to be, if you are into cookie baking, be a cookie baker. <laughs> like, spend the time being a cookie baker so that you know that you actually want to be a cookie baker, okay? And those are a lot of what I'm doing. I'm working on uh, uh, connecting with some people so that I know that being a coach is truly what I want to be. And not just any coach, what specifically. So uh, we will get more into that in a second. Next, we're going to, um, the sixth thing we're going to do is goal setting. Goal setting is powerful in positive and negative ways and as driven we have to be really careful that we don't overdo our goals. I know that sounds weird because it's like we definitely, I am a laws of attraction person. Um, and it's easy to go, oh, I want, you know, $10 million just to flow my way. The only hard part is, is if you haven't connected in a way that brings you $10,000 or $10 million, you're going to suffer from not making it and then you're gonna feel bad and it's like we are going to work on even those money things to get you there okay uh, then we're gonna go and number seven is booking or building whatever it is that you're doing if you have a service that you provide then we want to be booking people and if you uh, are building things we want to make sure that you are building but not just building in a way that's just making stuff we want to make sure that it is targeted to your audience okay uh, number eight is easy web upgrades Oh Lordy, <laughs> when I, as I had my photography business, I wanted every damn thing on my website so people could just be like, oh my God, he, he does everything. You don't need all that. We can keep this simple and it can attract your tribe and get them connected to you at, um, in an easy way where it's like web development does not have to be your life. Can I get an amen? I think I heard an amen. Right through the, right through the speakers, I heard an amen. Uh, number nine is easy social media. You don't have to go crazy, right? Uh, people are busy, and when they are scrolling, they want things to be fast and easy. And um, you can just connect. You can connect to your tribe, and you can make it easy. It's not a big deal. Number 10, making it profitable. Whatever you're doing, it's like uh, that. It, it opens a door. It, over the last several years, it's been fascinating to me to watch as people make money doing the things that they love. And I think that is so cool. When I was in sixth grade, I had where uh, there was this like sales class thing that we were doing. And you made a product, and then they had a sales day, and people uh, came in and did it. Now, what was interesting is I saw where me and a friend, we did art. 
and drew some stuff and it's just like for people to do pictures of or to buy our pictures made a couple of sales in there but then it's like people who were making cupcakes and cookies and all that kind of stuff they made very well but this is also sixth grade so it, it uh it's interesting um but when you look today and it's uh at the things that people get paid for and they get paid for doing their passion amazes me uh, I'm wearing my Hogwarts shirt today because I'm going to let my freak fly a little bit. It's like a freak flag fly, and uh, I hope you do too. Um, uh, I love uh, uh, Dungeons & Dragons, role-playing games, things like that, and I think it's really cool. Um, I have so many YouTubers that I follow that teach uh, dungeon mastering, game mastering, all that kind of stuff, and it's cool that they're making money doing something that they love. And uh, so... No matter what it is, it's like uh, you can be profitable in what you're doing. And I am so excited to uh, welcome you on my journey and, uh, and move forward from there. So I'm going to stop this video here and I'm going to go into number one, the chair. So watch out for that one, okay? All right. Uh, take it easy. I look forward to working with you. You are my tribe. I am your tribe. And uh, we are going to do this together, okay? Awesome. Thanks.